in the heart of Willow Creek, where sun-drenched days gave way to warm summer nights, six gentlemen in their sixties had lived through life's joys and sorrows. Each had spent decades building a life with his partner, creating memories that would last a lifetime. However, fate had other plans. Henry, once a rugged outdoorsman, had his world turned upside down when his wife of 40 years confessed to an affair with her younger colleague. The news left him feeling lost and alone, like a tree that had lost its branches in the storm. Next was James, the charismatic leader of their small community, whose wife's infidelity had been a long-standing secret. He found himself questioning everything he thought he knew about love and relationships. Then there was Michael, the charming artist, who discovered his wife's numerous lovers through a series of cryptic messages on her phone. His heart shattered into a million pieces as he realized that the woman he loved didn't love him back. The trio of George, Richard, and Robert had also faced similar betrayals. George's wife had left him for a younger man, while Richard's spouse had been embezzling funds from his business to fund her own illicit affairs. As for Robert, his wife's infidelity had led to the collapse of their marriage. Each of these men felt like they'd lost their anchor in life. They struggled to find purpose and meaning, unsure how to navigate this new reality. One sunny afternoon, as Henry strolled through the town square, he stumbled upon a small coffee shop where George was sipping on a latte. The two men struck up a conversation, commiserating about their shared pain. It was in that moment that they realized they weren't alone in their struggles. As the days turned into weeks, more of their friends joined them at the coffee shop. James would arrive early to share stories of his adventures, while Michael would regale them with tales of his artistic escapades. Richard and Robert would discuss business strategies trying to make sense of the world around them. Their gatherings became a beacon of hope for these men, a reminder that they had survived the storm and were now standing on solid ground. As they laughed together, shared tears, and offered words of encouragement, something profound happened. A quiet understanding developed between them, an unspoken bond that went beyond friendship. They began to notice the little things about each other, Henry's piercing blue eyes sparkled with kindness. James's charming smile could light up a room. Michael's artistic fingers danced across his canvas like a lover's touch. One evening, as they sat under the branches of the ancient oak tree in George's backyard, Richard turned to Robert and said, You know, I never thought I'd find myself attracted to someone new after what happened with my wife. His voice barely above a whisper. Robert looked at him with understanding eyes and replied, I feel the same way. As the night air filled with Cricket's serenade, James leaned in, his voice husky with desire. You know, I think we've been given a second chance. A chance to rediscover ourselves and find love anew. Henry's gaze met Michael's across the table, and for a moment, they shared a look of pure understanding. As the seasons passed, these six gentlemen continued to support one another through life's triumphs and tribulations, and in their quiet moments together, they found themselves drawn to each other with an intensity that bordered on reverence. It wasn't about seeking revenge or validation. It was about finding solace in each other's company, a reminder that love can take many forms, especially for those who have lived through the depths of heartache and emerged stronger because of it. In this quiet, intimate space, they discovered the sensuality of shared experiences, the laughter, the tears, the whispered words of encouragement. And as they wrapped their arms around each other, they knew that love had given them a second chance at happiness. The End